Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sorful here and today I have a exciting cubing video for you guys. In the video, I'm going to be working on some bonus potentials. These are the bonus potentials that I got to legendary during uh, the last Miracle Time. If you didn't see that Miracle Time cubing video, feel free to click in the top right of this video right now to be taken to that video. Um, so I'm going to be cubing my bonus potentials, trying to get some stats, and how I paid for this uh, whole entire cubing run was purely by... Um, I sold a couple equips for, I, saw, I sold two equips that I didn't need anymore for my Wind Archer because I got better ones. So I sold two equips for, what was the total? I think I sold them for about 27 and a half bill, Meso. So I had 27 billion Meso, didn't need anything in the FM, but I did need cubes. So I spent all that Meso on NX and that's how, you know, I got all this NX2 cube. Um, I'm saying that because today is going to be a very interesting discussion. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about if you look at any of my cubing videos or any of my uh, equipment videos, you'll always see in the comment section at least one person asking, How much money have you spent on Maple Story? And I'm going to be real transparent with you guys today. I'm going to tell you guys exactly how much I think I spent, and I'm going to break it down for you guys um, in terms of how I got that money and uh, yeah, where it came from. Uh, if we have time near the end of the video, because this is a long cubing video, I will be talking about how I personally feel about spending money on Maple Story, and I'm going to talk about that whole controversial topic. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in this uh, topic, then you know, stay stay tuned and stick around to the end. So to start things off, how much money have I spent on Maple Story? Um, I would believe that number to be around eight thousand dollars. That that's money that I spent on Maple Story because. I've, I've used much more than $8,000 uh, worth of NX on my account, but the, like, the rest of it was either f NX that I got gifted from friends, uh, starting from way back, and I've also sold many items in-game for NX, and I've even sold Mesos for NX, so I pretty much bought NX with Meso, which is what I did to uh, you know, fund this whole cubing session that you guys are seeing on your screens. Um, so something to keep in mind, guys, is that I've been playing this game since 2006, so I've been playing for over 10 years now, um, just over 10 years. So I'm gonna be including that $8,000 includes all the money I've spent over the course of that 10 years. 10 years is an extremely long time to be playing a game, um, a game for, especially since I've been playing Maple Story extremely consistently throughout those 10 years. Like I've never had a break longer than what two months. I don't even know, but I've been playing the game a lot. Um, for those 10 years so $8,000 is about the amount I, I believe I spent on the game like out of my pocket and I, I'm pretty I'm certain it's not 10,000 but I'm also sure I spent over 7,000 at this point so it's about eight to nine thousand tops uh, but I believe it's it's more closer to 8,000 a portion of that 8,000 was paid by my YouTube channel so as you guys know obviously I'm a youtuber I make YouTube videos all regarding maple story at least 90% regarding maple story and I do get paid for um, creating content so uh, over the course of my four or five years being on YouTube my my channel has accumulated uh, for me about three thousand five hundred dollars so that's how much I made from YouTube over the course of those years um, it's not bad I know and um, I reinvested about 90%, upward of 90% of that $3,500 $3, back into MapleStory because I don't have a problem doing that because uh, I'm pretty much making the money from me playing MapleStory. So I don't have a problem reinvesting um, into the game and you know having this content for you guys uh, such as cubing and stuff like that. Um, so it's kind of like a give, a give back. Um, even though it's like a kind of win-win for me. <laughs> so it's, it's safe to say that I reinvested about 3200 out of the $3,500 back into MapleStory. So from that 8000 you could deduct 3200 because YouTube paid for that that amount, essentially. Um, so what we're, we're, we're left with about 4800 left or something like that. Yeah, 4800 Another portion of the uh, 8000 or now 4800 uh, was paid by me selling Equips for actual money so i've sold many items in maple story for actual money us dollars and i then spend that money on nx so it's paid by me selling equips in game essentially but it's still actual money that i could have put in my bank account but instead chose not to um, so most of the time when i do sell an equip for um, us dollars i do reinvest it back into maple story um, but sometimes i have pocketed it and put it in my bank account instead 
Now, for the total amount of um, money that I've made to spend on MapleStory uh, through this way, which is selling equips, it's about mm, $1,500. Um, I remember when I quit my Wind Archer about a year and a half ago, I sold all my equips and I sold all my equips for about $1,800. Um, I think, I believe I kept about $400 from that and I spent a thousand of that of that money uh, I bought my gaming PC with that and then I just bought a new monitor but I just upgraded my entire setup pretty much with that money that I made from selling my wind archer equips because I was quitting you know being funded in maple story we all know how that went because now look at me I'm stronger than ever and I'm, I'm still funding so um, in total though about 1500 from equips that I reinvested into maple story so from the 48 now we're at 30 300 and that three thousand three hundred dollars was paid for by me that's that's all me that's through my wallet through me working um, a real life job and um, all the all ten years that's for me just slowly buying an X slowly 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 there's been many times where I used to go to the store and just buy 50k card buy a 50k card um, and all that kind of stuff if you just add up my miracle times alone I mean in miracle times alone, which is only like I've only participated in either four or five That that's like thousands of dollars that I spent already um, So yeah, uh, the rest though was from my pocket and yeah, it's pretty much that's pretty much the breakdown of how much I've spent on maple story So yes, it's eight thousand but um and and there's no denying that eight thousand dollars i'm not saying i didn't spend eight thousand dollars or more um but realistically speaking i'd like to say it's more around three thousand three hundred dollars that i spent uh which is still a very very tangible amount uh it's it's definitely not something that's a joke you know you could probably get a a decent second hand used car uh where i live for about that much so um yeah so it's, it's a good amount um don't regret it uh, to be honest uh, my girlfriend hates me for it though <laughs> as you would imagine um, but yeah so how I feel exactly about people in general spending money on maple story so I know this is a very touchy controversial topic because it's it's always like the people who don't have the privilege or don't care to spend money on maple story feel like everyone that does is like a scrub they're paid a win noob you know all the all the cliches right um, however uh, the people who have a hint of funding the people who know what it's like to be funded in maple story the people who whether they paid for it or not the people who have a two mil two mil range again whether they paid for it or not they understand they seem to much better understand the concept of spending money on maple story because they're like once you're up there, it's it's not a surprise to you. You know, I could I could come to you guys say, yo, I just bought an equip for five hundred dollars, and you guys would be like, what the, f like, are you out of your mind? But then if I go tell my funded friends, yo, I just spent five hundred on equip. Oh really? What were the stats on it? And they're like, oh shoot, that was a good deal. You know what I'm saying? So the people who know what it's like to be funded, who know all these prices and everything, it doesn't shock us, and it's not like, it's not really frowned upon, so to say, right? Um, because we're all in this circle so again even the people who got to two mil two mil range without spending a dime they understand the concept they may be against it but at least they, they have a much better understanding of that concept and they're they're more like um, the only word I can think of is understanding so they know uh, they could see the reasoning the logic behind spending that much on an equip um, whereas you know someone who's just starting out level 120 it's their first character um, you tell them $500 for an equip if you want to get godly, uh, they're like, um, are, are, what kind of crack are you on or how many different variations of crack are you on, right? So it's, it's, that, that's, that's how it seems to be in through, through my eyes and through my experience. Um, now how I feel about it personally, I do think it's a little bit sad that, um, MapleStory is such a game where um, you have people spending these amounts like I've spent eight thousand dollars on this game um, that's that's an incredible amount um, but you, when you when you really compare it to other games and stuff like that which is something I've, I've, I've recently started doing you could say um, 
it's, it's, it's really just normal. You're always going to have those people who have that, the deep pockets that could, that, that will find the game attractive and just throw money at it because they can or because they want to or a combination of the both, right? Um, it, it really comes down to entertainment and what the value you find in the game is and I see the value in the game because it's, it's not only me playing the game, right? I have a YouTube channel based around this game. Um, so I always try and keep up there, keep in tune with the game and make sure I'm in the loop, right? For you guys and for myself, for my channel. Um, so I definitely have the value to be spending this money in the game. So for me, it's not a problem. Um, for many of you guys, you don't have that same value. So I could understand why you don't want to spend this much money or even close to it. And, you know, a normal person probably wouldn't want to spend this much money on a game anyway. Right. And I can see why people do get frustrated and get angry how uh, people get such high ranges just by paying. And unfortunately, it's just the way many, many games work. Right. League of Legends doesn't work that way. Thank God. Um, and that's amazing, right? But MapleStory is a different type of game. And an example I wanna I wanna relate MapleStory to is guess what? A mobile game called Clash Royale. I've been playing Clash Royale quite a bit lately. I had just hit Arena Six like yesterday. Um, it's my second time being in Arena Six, but yeah, I'm probably gonna make a Clash Royale video. If you guys want to see a Clash Royale video, if you made it to this point in this video. Quickly let me know in the comment section right below that like button if you'd want to see one on this channel. If not, then please let me know as well. Um, so I, I recently made Arena 6. I've been watching a lot of Clash Royale videos. And there are ugh, so many people, so, so, so many people who spend thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on Clash Royale. A mobile game. Okay, a mobile game that has matches that take two minutes long. Right? Uh, I, I randomly went into this guy's stream, he had about like 100 people watching him, and he was gemming. Now, gemming, if you don't know what gemming is for Clash Royale, is pretty much uh, cubing, okay, in MapleStory. Um, except you don't get to uh, really... It's not as... It's hard, to, it's hard to relate, kind of, because it's so different, the games. But, yeah, it's pretty much like cubing, okay, except less rewarding, in my opinion. So... He was gemming and he was he spent like what thousand dollars right then and there and he has the total amount of money he spent and the total amount was fourteen thousand dollars and he's only been playing the game for less than a year so fourteen thousand dollars in less than a year and there's so many people who are in that situation who spent that much on the game and obviously they're the top players in the world for the game um, but it's just crazy you know so games are always bound to have these players who spend these kinds of money. Um, but again, how I feel about it, I, I already kind of touched on that. It's really the value you see in the game. And just generally speaking, it is a bit sad that uh, MapleStory is one of those games that um, the more money you throw at it, the better you're pretty much going to be in the game. Um, so it is a little bit sad, but you know, when I related to these other games and these other people playing these other games, um, you know, it's not like I'm trying to find something to make myself feel better about the amount I spent because I am okay with it. But it does make me feel even better, you know, and it feels it feels good knowing that there are people in MapleStory who spend as much as I do. And, um, you know, because it's like this whole kind of competition thing that's kind of cool um, and it's kind of fun at the end of the day. So, yeah, my thoughts are a little bit rambled. I know I, I rambled quite a bit, um, but yeah, it's it's pretty good. And as you guys just saw this mask, like, what was it, like 9% of luck and like two other lines of luck? It was ridiculous the bonus pot but um <sighs> but yeah so i mean controversial topic people some people hate it some people understand it some people do it such as myself uh they spend money on these games so um i'm not i'm not going to be spending a dime on clash royale because it's just not for me i'm going to be free to play on that game um i really hate how it's so pay to win though so i know what people mean when they say my story is pay to win um, I'm a funded person in MapleStory, and yes, I did pay to get there. Uh, well, not entirely. I've been playing for 10 years, so... Um, but yeah, so I know what people mean when they say it's, it's ridiculous playing with pay-to-win uh, people, because Clash Royale is one of the biggest uh, culprits for a pay-to-win environment. Uh, you throw money at that game, and you're just going to have everything that you could ever want. Um, and of course, you're going to need some kind of talent, though, to get up to higher arenas. And thankfully, I just made Arena 6. Think about 800 something trophies right now. I'm scared to drop back down to Arena 5, but uh, what can you do? So, 
And that's pretty much my how I feel about the whole uh, Maple Story, spending money on Maple Story, and kind of spending money on games in general. Like I said, if you see the value in it, then you do you, right? Don't let people tell you um, not to spend money unless you're in a really bad situation and you're spending money. Then, then you kind of need to look at yourself, take a step back, and say I shouldn't be doing this, right? Because people can get addicted uh, to these things. I know when I was younger, I think I was in high school, I was 15 years old or something like that still playing my night lord um i didn't have much money i was a i was a kid right so and i still spent i, I tried to spend a lot of money on maple story and i'm like okay i gotta stop doing this because cubing is not going my way so um i did i stopped myself because i didn't have the money that i wanted to be using on the game anyway and to have bad luck from cubing i was just like all right fuck this um, and many times that has happened to me, even to this day, if I get bad luck during cubing, I make sure I don't spend a dime on Maple Story for a good while. Um, and yeah, so that's, that's how I break it down for you guys. Uh, full transparency from me. Um, nothing really to hide. I'm not ashamed of anything. Uh, let me know what you guys think about uh, people spending money on Maple Story. Please let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and let me know how much you've spent. Uh, try and be one of the few people that I know that um, haven't spent a dime on Maple Story, but can understand the concept of spending Maple Story uh, money on Maple Story. And um, yeah, let me see if there's any of you guys out there that are like that. Um, and yeah, it's really interesting stuff. Uh, I'd love to see what you guys had to say about it. So for the rest of the little bit of the video, you guys could just watch it, enjoy it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, discussion, this topic, and hopefully this cubing in the background. Um, and for real guys, if you guys have watched this entire video, please let me know as well. Um, because that would mean a lot to me if you guys really did stick around to this part. If you skip to this part, not so much. But hey, I don't mind. It's just if someone, if one of you guys or a few of you guys really did watch this entire video, then th that says something good to me. It says that you guys really enjoyed the commentary uh, and what I was talking about. So if you guys want to see more stuff like this, please let me know in the comment section below as well. The comment section is there. Um, for many reasons, so make use of that, and as always guys, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Hey, you made it to the end, and for that, you're awesome. While you're here, feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed what you just watched, and click one of these videos to be taken to one of my favorite, most recent uploads. Peace.